What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another video. This video is going to cover NFTs and specifically on the Solana blockchain for the simple reason that I do trade on Ethereum and I do trade on Solana, but Solana is gas free. There's no gas prices over there. Ethereum can get very expensive. Um, I am going to be talking a little bit more about uh, OpenSea and, and certain Ethereum projects coming up because I do like a lot of them. However, this video is going to be great for beginners because there's no gas fees. Very, very small Solana fee that's associated with trading on these platforms. So today's video is going to cover Magic Eden, which is a platform that you can flip them on. And I'm also going to be talking about a browser extension called Soul Sniper. And what this browser does is it weeds out the rarity for you. You don't have to go and do all the deep diving and searching. It presents it for you. So stick around, guys. Let's learn how to flip some NFTs. All right, what's up, everybody? So I'm pumped about this video. Uh, I'm jumping full fledged into NFTs and cryptocurrency. Um, been really enjoying it the last couple of months, like really, really enjoying it. And not to mention the profits are pretty great. So I'm going to show you something here before we get started. This is what got me into uh, NFTs. So about a month ago, I bought this one. This right here, it's an alien friend, number 5444. And I bought this to me right here, as you can see, the final was 0 0.069 Ethereum. OK, cost me around two hundred and sixteen twenty plus gas fees, which brought it up to about three hundred dollars. So that was my initial investment. Three hundred dollars. Every time you do an interaction, buy, sell, trade, transfer anything on the Ethereum blockchain, you pay a gas fee. I don't really understand why that is. Bitcoin, the transactions are like zero point zero five percent. It's It's so small, the fees. But for some reason, Ethereum, they like to charge you extra money. So. Then we're going to come up here to where it's sold. So as you can see here, I sold it to this person for $46.99 for 1 1.6 Ethereum. It, like, I don't know, just, it's just a crazy profit. So I was pretty blown away and I became really enthralled in this space. Um, so today I'm going to talk about a couple of things. I'm going to show you a solid way um, to find rare nfts and a lot of these nfts they have utility behind them whether they um, allow you to play in certain metaverse games you can get involved with play to earn games you can stake them to earn coins passively there's all types of things and benefits basically behind nfts um yeah it's just been it's just been a wild ride so i'm going to share this this with you today so basically what i'm going to show you is a site to look for nfts but not only that, I'm actually going to show you, and these are some NFTs here that I've bought. Um, I've got a good collection. These ones aren't even revealed yet. These ones aren't even revealed yet. This one's not revealed yet. But yeah, I'm very interested and excited for a lot of these projects. So that being said, I'm going to show you guys uh, where to find NFTs. So this place here is called Magic Eden. And this is for Solana. OK, so you can buy Ethereum and you can buy Solana. And uh, basically with Solana, there's no gas fees. There's just very, very small transaction fees. So anyways, what I'm trying to show you here, you can come into Magic Eden looking for Solana. What I was just showing you guys before, this is OpenSea. And this is going to be for uh, your mainly your Ethereum blockchain nfts and a lot of the bigger projects that are worth a lot more money that you will make a lot more money are on this platform but it is very expensive to trade on it so that being said i'm showing today magic eden um, i do purchase on both but magic eden is what i'm going to show you today just because it's solana and i recommend anybody that's brand new to nfts to start on solana trading because of the low fees so with that being said guys here you can check out basically whatever you want, drop menu on the side here, and uh, you can hit collections, and it'll show up all popular collections. So say you're going to be looking at Board Ape Solana Club, right? You can click that, 
and this one might not actually work. This one might be a brand new one. Yeah, this one's not actually gonna work. I'm gonna show you another one and I'll tell you why in a second. So let's go to the Space Apes Empire. Okay, so Space Apes Empire. This is now gonna pull up the collection that is available to the public for sale. And you can see here that the floor price of these is 7.79 .79 Solana to buy one, all right? Total volume of all time, 4,610 Solana. Each Solana is around, I don't know, it fluctuates, probably around $145 right now per coin. So it's a lot of volume. And this is what I want to show you. So normally when you come into a, a site like this, this bar right here with the M and the H, these aren't usually activated, okay? And the filters along the side here is how you're going to pick your rarity. So they're just listed low to high in price. And over here, you get to pick your rarity. So this is background. And as you can see, the color in the background here, color in the background here is pink, right? So we got different background colors. If you go down here to the most rare one that's available, this one's being sold for 9.99 soul. And if you click it, Cosmo shows up. So this is the Cosmo background, okay? So basically, this is how you have to search for rarity in a normal fashion. Same thing. And you want to go down to here to clothing. You want to click this winter suit. Okay, so there's your winter suit. They're the most rare suits. So this is how you're going to actually, uh, essentially, determine rarity on an NFT before purchasing it, right? And before you do that, another thing you want to check out here, activity and items, okay? Items is what we're currently looking at. Activity is going to tell you how many people are buying them and how often. So you can see in this one, it's very active. Four minutes, six minutes, 11 minutes, 11 minutes, 14. People are actively purchasing these. So this is a good investment. Now, this is expensive. Anybody starting out, I would definitely recommend looking in the ballpark of a floor price from 0 0.09 to 0 0.1 and start flipping those because then you can always, you know, if you buy it for 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, is an easy way to sell something that's actively moving for a quick $20 profit. It, it's depending on what you want to make, but a quick $20 profit, you know, repeated multiply throughout the day, you can easily hit a hundred dollar target in a day in profit. Now, that being said, back to this. So what this bar shows you here is rarity. Okay. And this is all made possible through a, a link called soul sniper NFT. So if you just pull up Soul Sniper and you hit this link, Soul Sniper NFT, it's going to bring you to this. And it's going to say more info, which you can go check out. It's going to give you a Soul Sniper NFT for Mozilla extension, an unpacked extension, or the Chrome extension. Now, what I've done is I've obviously installed the Chrome extension, which was for me, and it's right here. Let me move my video out of the way. It's right here. So it just it, once you download this and, and install it, it just becomes automatically hooked up to your extensions. And what this does, once it's hooked up to your wallets, and Soulflare is the wallet that I'm using for my Solana trading, and MetaMask is the one that I'm using for my Ethereum trading. And if you guys are interested in those, all you do is pull up the metamask.io website, download the extension, it will go to the, the uh, it'll be uploaded up here in your extensions, and then you set up your mask or your MetaMask wallet. It's very simple. Very, very easy. I think it takes five minutes and then it will be linked to all of your investment accounts because you can link it to MetaMask will be linked to this one. OpenSea and my Solana is linked to this one, my Soulflare. So anyways, what this does, guys, by having this installed, Soul Sniper, it now gives you rarity, right? So you can see this. H is not... Um, not recorded yet it must be a fairly new collection but if you click on souls you can see here m is moon rank rank calculated using statistical ranking algorithm how rare is the h rank calculated using how rare's own ranking algorithm so this just gives you information without you guys having to go in and do all this searching so what i would do in a situation like this is i would look through here Right. And I would look for ones that are probably lower in ranking. So you got 957, 818, 1041. The further you go down here, 
And the more these are worth, you're starting to see them get lower. This one's worth 70. This one's worth 746. I don't know why this, this guy's taking a, a shot here. He wants to get a good price for one that probably won't sell for that. Considering that this one here is only 341. This one's 154 in the collection. Now, I don't know how many there are in this collection. There could be 5,000. There could be 2,000. There could be 10,000. Normally, it will tell you on the page. This one doesn't tell me, so I'd have to do a little bit more digging. But let's use another one, for example, to show you. Let's go with crypto idols. This one's really booming right now, actually. It's got a lot of movement on it. So this one here tells you right here, 600 or 6,969 masterpieces. Okay. That's how many are in there. You've only got 1,398 listed, which means a lot of people are holding on to these because they believe they're going to be probably worth some money. So you got the floor price here, 0 0.35 sold. Now, again, I bought one of these yesterday. But that being said, these don't have the ranking. So I actually had to go and do the digging because I like the movement on them. And uh, this one doesn't have the rankings, obviously, as, as you can see. But it did have the number that I was trying to show you. So with this number, the moon ranking will show up and it'll be a number out of this. So if this one says M, an M rating of 189, it will be 189 out of 6,969, which is a great buy. And you get a lot of new buyers that will buy these and then list them, they don't have a clue what they have. So you'll get it, you can pick a rare one down here. So it's very, very interesting. That one ticket item can give you so much. So look, let me see here, I'll show you. I bought, oh, it's not in that category, listed. Right, it's going to play the loading game. So there we go. So this is the one I bought yesterday. 3D glasses, rare background, because I sniped it rare. But I bought it for 0 0.4. I'm trying to sell it for 0 0.8. Hopefully that sells today or tomorrow. But anyways, guys, that's all I really wanted to show you today. Just Magic Eden, where you can go look them up. Also, I'll show you something else while I'm here. Um, Launchpad. This is a, a great key because this tells you all the new things. So pixel bands, launching at four hours, 50 minutes, and 11 seconds. There's going to be 4,444 tokens. 22 has apparently been sold already. And uh, it's going to be selling for 0 0.5 Solano. So about $75 around there. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I love this platform. And again, you can come down here and you can see all these ones. These ones have been previous launches uh, that are fairly new. I did buy into Goblin Army. I really was thinking about buying into this one, but it's expensive. Um, one sold just to buy into for something I'm not 100% sold on is dangerous. This one here is another good one. I bought into this one. This is like a probably one of my favorite buys. Alpha Gorillas. The gaming is going to be crazy. Um, play to earn gaming. But anyways... That being said, guys, that is Magic Eden. And I touched a little bit on Soul Sniper. So definitely get yourself Soul Sniper right here, Soul Sniper NFT. Download that if you're going to look for NFTs. Not everyone is going to be available, but a lot of them will be. And when they have the ranking on there, you can pick easy, easy gains. I hope that helps, guys. Uh, this is something that I do for a couple hours every day now is uh, look through NFTs and, and read the market and just try to get as much information as you can. NFTs are, are definitely a part of my portfolio now. I think I'm currently invested in 28 and a lot of them have utility. A lot of them I'm going to stake for um, passive income. A lot I'm going to use to check out some of these play to earn games and hold uh, just hoping that the games take off and they become worth a lot more money. So it's a very good investment. But I wish I had these tools at the beginning when I first started. So I'm sharing this with you guys so that you have it right off the bat. If you're interested in starting in NFTs, uh, this is a great place to start. Magic Eden and have Soul Sniper attached. And I will be following up on this video with some more uh, software and other websites that I use as well. I'm just getting a little bit more familiar with them as I go. But yeah, if you're bullish on NFTs, guys, um, 
share some information with me as well, because I'm, just, I'm pretty new to this space. If there's any projects you guys are interested in, leave it down below. I'll always go check out their Discord and, and their Twitter, and I'll, I'll definitely uh, give you some feedback on them, because I'm definitely looking at projects myself as well. Uh, a few upcoming ones, Hate Beast. That's going to be one of the bigger ones that drops. Invisible Friends is another one um, I'm really excited about that's dropping for, dropping soon. I don't know if people watching this are informed on them yet or not, but if you're not, go and check out, go check out Hate Beast and go and check out Invisible Friends. I am in no way a financial advisor or affiliated with anybody I've mentioned in this video. It's just two projects that I'm very bullish on that will make people a lot of money if you can get in early. Uh, that being said, guys, that's the video today. Just wanted to help you speed up the process in your uh, investments towards NFTs.